Hello and welcome to Need Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this week's edition, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Meet the new Garrison Command Sergeant Major and a look at this year's Halloween festivities. These stories and more. But first, Manor View Elementary School received a $15,000 grant from the Target Corporation this week for its Apps for Reading program. Target is recognizing Manor View's efforts in creating an iPad lab. The grant will be used to purchase an iPad cart and 30 iPads for student use. Back in November of 2010, Manor View also benefited from Target's School Library Makeover program. In past years, October was known as Energy Awareness Month. This year, the Department of Energy requested the name change to Energy Action Month. And action is required due to some mandated goals. It's mandated by um, executive order and uh, the uh, mandate is 3% reduction in your uh, to 2015. The Department of Public Works and the McGill Training Center are hosting a series of energy efficiency displays through October. The displays highlight the efforts taking place right here at Fort Meade. Deputy Garrison Commander Mr. John Moeller took the initial look at some of Fort Meade's efforts to reduce utility bills. Solar power collectors are on display at McGill. If you just step outside the training center, you can see a series of recently installed solar-powered streetlights. Consultant Tony Karwaski says efforts like these are important because the DOD is the nation's largest single energy user, and unlike the past, units and building managers are seeing and paying their own electric bills. Every time you exceed your peak load for more than five times, it affects your next year's electric bill. And it doesn't take it down, it takes it up. Energy Action Month continues through October at Fort Meade. Contact the Department of Public Works for more information. Meanwhile, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. This year's theme, Don't Turn Your Back on Domestic Violence. While Army Community Services has already sponsored several events, including training classes, there's still more to come, including a silent witness project display October 15th through the 19th at McGill, and more training for social workers and mental health professionals. Meanwhile, several victims of domestic violence have agreed to share their stories with Me TV. We'll bring you those stories as Domestic Violence Awareness Month continues. Stay tuned. Another news, Fort Meade has a new Command Sergeant Major. Just a couple of weeks on the job, Command Sergeant Major Thomas Ladder talked about the challenges that face Fort Meade. You know, we've got over 95 partners that are on the garrison, um, ranging from units as large as what you see from the National Security Agency to detachments that are as small as 20 or 30 airmen that are here to support other, other units and things like that. So partnering all those organizations to work together and then with our outside community, uh, both Anne Arundel County and Howard County um, and all the businesses that are out there. There's a lot more uh, innovation that's got to go on. Uh, as you know, BRAC is done, so trying to get everybody to continue to focus on Fort Meade and its development in the future, it, it's, taken a, it's going to take a lot of effort over the coming years to, to keep the ball rolling and uh, keep us moving in the right direction, for the, not only for us, but also for the community in which we serve. You can read more of our interview with the Command Sergeant Major in next week's edition of our award-winning newspaper, The Sound Off. In other news, there are less than three weeks to go before the 2012 elections. Here's a message from the Secretary of Defense, the Honorable Leon Panetta. On November 6th, Americans will have the opportunity to exercise the most important responsibility we have in a democracy, the right to vote. No matter where you are in the world, no matter who you plan to vote for, Please exercise the very privilege that you're willing to fight and die for in order to protect. But there isn't much time. If you're overseas or away from home, request your absentee ballot immediately and mail it back in time so that your vote will count. And if you need help, visit your installation voter assistance office or see your unit's voting assistance officer or visit the website, www.fvap.gov. And finally on this edition, a quick look at some of the Halloween festivities coming up this year. You can join all the ghosts, ghouls, and goblins on a 5K run and one mile fun walk on the 27th at 8 o'clock. Bring your pet to run with you or participate in the pet costume contest after the run. The Lounge at the Lanes Bowling Alley is hosting a party on the 27th from 6 to 10.30 p.m. Food specials, prizes, and a DJ are on tap. And Child Youth and School Services is hosting a youth lock-in for grades 6 to 12 on the night of the 27th. The lock-in also includes a trip to the Eastern State Penitentiary. For more information on any of these activities, just go to www.ftmeetmwr.com. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.